Hey, welcome to the ground instruction for exercise 22 in the flight training manual on the forced approach. And a forced approach is exactly that. You're being forced to make an approach and landing on a field because of some emergency situation. We train for these to give you a methodical process for the forced approach to prevent missed steps due to distraction or task saturation. We've done P180s in the circuit already, so you know how to do a forced glide in approach, how to judge your glide and how to vary your descent profile with the addition of flaps or the use of slips. The key difference for the forced approach is that you were probably in cruise when this happened, you don't have an airport in sight, and you have to find a suitable field relatively quickly. You have to set up an approach profile that's gonna let you lose altitude, you also might have time to see if you can fix the problem, restart your engine. If you have a passenger with you, you're going to have to brief them on the emergency situation and what to do. And last but not least, because you're not going to be landing at the airport, probably doing a soft field landing somewhere, you might want to think about securing the engine. So we'll go through that as well. Now, mnemonics help us remember the steps that we follow. I like to use the mnemonic CG facts because it covers everything in a very systematic way. So the C stands for carb heat. First thing you do is put carb heat on. The G stands for glide. So that's you pitching for your best glide airspeed. This is your power off best glide, and you can find it in your POH or on the emergency checklist. The F stands for field selection. So that's your next step. Where is the field? A stands for the approach. So go ahead and set up your approach. C stands for cause. So this is when you do your cause check. What's the issue? Can I fix it? If that doesn't work, T stands for talk, which means you do your emergency call and your passenger brief. And the S is the final step and it stands for secure. So it means that you secure your engine for your landing. Just some notes on field selection. So you'll wanna look for a suitable field and locate one as soon as possible. Keeping in mind that a field closer in proximity to civilization might be more beneficial and also taking into account the surface, slope, and wind direction, as well as obstacles. Remember that they might be fields behind you as well. Pilots can easily become preoccupied looking for a field ahead and forget that they just passed more suitable ones behind them. And be aware that your approach path does not come too close to the field, nor does it take you too far away from it. So for the approach, judging your glide and your approach might take a bit of practice, but remember that the first thing that you do in this exercise is to pitch for the best glide speed of 60 knots indicated. So make sure that you do use trim and try not to vary this airspeed as you do your approach. Also, avoid being too preoccupied with your approach that it becomes a distraction. So set up your approach, such as a turning descent towards the field, then do something else, then return your focus to the approach and correct if necessary. The next thing that you do is your cause check. So this could be similar to the sweep that you do as your pre-landing check, or as the one that you do before you do your upper air work when you're doing your safety check, check all of the instruments, make sure that nothing looks out of order, and try to restart the engine. You can also verify against the emergency checklist to make sure that you didn't miss any steps, and I highly recommend that you do this because they'll be looking for that when you have your flight test. Next is talk, and this has two parts. The first one is you have to do your emergency call. So you squawk 7700 on your transponder, and then tune to 121.5. Mayday call sounds like this. Mayday, 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 Cessna 152, Golf Tango Yankee India, Golf Tango Yankee India, Golf Tango Yankee India, engine failure, Glen Valley, landing in field, two souls on board, white aircraft, Golf Tango Yankee India, Golf Tango Yankee India, Golf Tango Yankee India. Kind of a mouthful, make sure you practice this before you go ahead, uh, go in for the lesson for forced approach. The passenger brief just needs to cover a couple of things, and my recommendation is that you write it down and then just memorize it so that it's easy for you to do in an emergency situation. And it can sound something like this. I need you to prepare yourself for an emergency situation. Bring your seat all the way back, remove sharp objects from your body, secure your seat belts and any baggage. Just prior to touchdown, I want you to unlatch your door and protect your head. Once we come to a complete stop, I want you to get out and meet me behind the aircraft. Do you understand? And then they can say, yes, that's it. Before you secure your engine and proceed to do your landing, you really wanna pull out the emergency checklist and go through it one last time to make sure that you didn't miss anything. You especially wanna do this on your flight test because if you don't, you'll probably lose points. 
So make sure that you do that before you secure your engine. If you've covered all the points and you have to make that landing in the field, then leave your master on until last and do not use flap until you are sure that you're going to make your field. Remember that an engine off gliding descent profile is going to be quite steep once you bring in flap and you don't want to do that if you're not sure that you're going to make the field yet. Just a quick note here on how you're going to be evaluated on your forced approach in your flight test is part B of the analysis is cockpit management. And I wouldn't be putting this in here if I didn't see at least a couple times when going out and practicing this for the first time or even the second time um, or even pre-flight test that the sole focus of the candidate is on making the field and their cockpit management portion is messy. So really what you're being evaluated on is do you have your basic vital actions um, committed to memory and are you doing them and then do you follow up with a checklist it says if time permits yes but it's a good practice to do so and then the other part is the performing the passenger safety review these things tend to get messy because like i said distraction and the sole focus is on making the field so highly recommend that you rehearse the passenger brief as well as the mayday call at home before you get into the plane because trust me once you do get up there at altitude and you're trying to make that field your brain is going to melt and you're not going to be able to do these things very well if you haven't rehearsed them properly at home so just some safety considerations when you are practicing forced approaches is to make all your ready calls and really watch for traffic especially in the glen valley area there is a lot of traffic and you're doing a glide-in approach so even though you're distracted and even though you're trying to get all your steps in, make sure that you do see and avoid any traffic. Also, you want to clear your engine every 500 feet on cold days. Uh, just because you pulled the power out and you're doing a glide-in approach, it could significantly cool the engine down. So just add a slight touch of power and then pull it back out again every 500 feet on your descent. Also, over overshoot prior to 500 feet AGL always, unless you're with a flight examiner. There you have it, all the steps for executing a forced approach. I recommend that you go through the steps a couple times, uh, memorize the things that you need to memorize, like how to make a mayday call, how to do your passenger brief. That way you know how to do it and what to do in the situation of a forced approach. And if you have any questions, bring them to your next lesson. And we'll probably do this a couple times until you're very comfortable with it um, because it's a very important part of your training. Thanks.